If you are wondering how much one can spend on food in Portugal, then this video is for you. But before I go into this video properly, please like this video, share with your friends and family, subscribe if you're yet to subscribe, and keep on watching. Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're just seeing my face for the first time, my name is Ami. In today's video, as you can see by the title and also the thumbnail, I'll be doing something different. Totally different from the videos I've posted so far on this channel. And this is because I've got some people, especially students, asking me to talk about the cost of living in Portugal. Mostly for food items and accommodation. You can see this video is upon request. But later on, I'll be doing a general cost of living for everyone. It is also important to know that no matter the city you live in in Portugal, it does not affect food prices. Whether you're living in Lisbon or you're living in Porto, Madeira, Braga, Aveiro, anywhere in Portugal, there's no more difference when it comes to food items. I would say it's almost the same. Therefore, I'll be going to one of the supermarkets, not very far from my house. I'll be going by bus just to see what I can buy with 20 euros, which I alone can survive with within one week. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I know someone will be wondering, is it possible to survive with just 20 euros in seven days? Well, it's a bit challenging, I must say, but I think it's possible. If you're the type that loves homemade food and if you're good at budgeting, just like me. If this is the kind of content you love to watch, which I think you would like, please keep on watching. <laughs> the sun is up, it's a beautiful day. My beginning will be as bright as the sun. Come, won't you come along? And it feels so bright It's like luck is raining on me Go and follow your heart Doesn't matter how far There is so much love to give Something's telling me this time Baby, baby, now I know Baby, baby, gotta go There is so So these are the items I bought from the supermarket yesterday night and I'll be telling you guys in a GP how much I spent in all of these food items. Keep on watching. So guys, I'll start by showing you my 1 kg rice. This rice, I bought it for 94 cents. And in Portugal, we call it a horse. This is 1 kg and it goes for 94 cents. I also have my beans, 500 grams. These beans, I bought it for 1.19 cents. I've got my tomatoes, one, two, three, four, five, six, and I bought them for one euro. I have two packs of noodles. One is about 70 something cents. Okay, for two of them, I bought them for 1.58 cents. My spinach. <laughs> If you love to eat vegetables, like a kind of Nigerian vegetable, then you can make use of spinach. I use it to make my eforiro and it's very nice. I bought this spinach for um, 99 cents, yeah. I also have my rice flour. We use it um, in case if you don't have a pando yam or any kind of uh, Nigerian kind of um, uh, swallow. So we use this. We use this rice flour, it's very nice. And I bought it for uh, 1.09. So I'll be using it for my pepperoni roll. <laughs> then I have this juice. It's very nice, pineapple juice. And it's 100% pineapple. I bought this juice for 1.19 cents. I have my potato chips. I usually eat it with this it's very nice so this potato chips i bought i bought it for 99 cents 
and i've got my pasta what we call spaghetti in nigeria this is very nice i bought this for um pasta pasta where are you yeah 75 cents so i got this for 75 cents i'm a lover of mangoes yay i bought this mango um how much is a bit expensive 1.10 cents and their mango there is very nice it's very fresh and it tastes very good so this goes for 1.10 cents i bought onions four of them i bought them for 66 cents and i've got my green pepper for my noodles yeah i bought this green pepper for 56 cents and of course i have my carrots i also love them in my noodles i bought this carrot um 28 cents i also have some eggs about six of them in here and i bought them for 99 cents it's quite cheap i love vegetables and fruits a lot i bought uh, three oranges so three of them i got them for um where are you orange yeah i got them for 82 cents i also bought sweet corn i love them in my fried rice and uh, noodles i got this for 83 cents what else what else then this is my bread <laughs> I've already taken four slices from this bread last night. Yeah, but it's a sweet bread and it's very nice. I bought it from Pingodos. Yeah, so I got this bread for 2.49 cents. It's actually expensive. They have other kinds of bread that they eat here, but I prefer, not that I prefer, I also love to eat this sweet bread. It's very nice for breakfast. Yeah, 2.49. I think that is all. Oh no, my frango. We call chicken frango in Portugal. So the whole of this chicken, I bought it for, um, hold on, chicken, chicken for two euros. So this is the kind of uh, chicken we eat in Nigeria, the old layers. Yes, I prefer to eat old layers. I got the whole of these old layers for two euros. So these are the food items I got from Pingodos and Continente. These two supermarkets are well known in Portugal. And the whole of these items cost 19.45 cents. Not even up to 20 euros I took to the supermarket. And this is why I keep telling you guys that food items in Portugal are relatively cheap compared to other European countries. So, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I hope you like it. If you do, give me a thumbs up. Also, subscribe if you're yet to subscribe. And share this video with your friends. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.